Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the piece Elin Road by Jumana Jibati. Um, I'm just going to show the really basic Kumbango. Um, but first, I'll just play it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. So I'm going to break that down for you. So basically, it's four chords. It goes F, E, D, and then F again. Okay, so we start with an F. So that's number one on the left thumb and then the fourth one down from the top one two three four so we both those together at the same time and then on this side we play so number one number two okay so F and A so so far we have And then we play the melody part with the fingers. Okay, so what that is starting on one, two, three, four, the F again. Then we come to this side, which is the G, which is one, two, three, four, five, six from the top. And then we play. A here, which is number three. Okay. okay, so go back to the beginning. And so far, we have. And then from there, we go to the E chord. Okay, they're just playing two E's. Okay, so with the right finger, playing the E here. So from the top it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the left thumb is playing from the bottom, one, two, three, four. You play it at the same time. Okay, so from the top we have. After that we have so number two and number three A and C directly after the two E's okay so from the top we have then it goes on to So we have E, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we have F, which is number 4, then we have G, which would be number 6. So for after the E's, so you'll notice here that you've played this string and you play it again directly after. So you play both of them together, then you play one. That's the starting point of that. Da, da, da. Okay, and then from there, we're going to the Gs. Okay, and you play both of these at the same time. They're on both on the left side. 
Okay, so it's one, two, three, D, and it's one, two, three, four, five. You see, I count from the lowest note here when it's the thumb, usually, and then from the highest one here when it's the finger. It makes the most sense because usually it's the least number of strings to count. Okay. So we have from the E's. And go straight to the D's. Okay, so we're going to go from the top. Again, that F one, but this time we play with the octave, so number one here, so it's. So, da, da, F on its own, F with the octave. Okay, so from the top we have. thing so then we just go back to number one again So to add a small variation to that, we're going to play this part, which is one of my favourite parts of the, the piece, that goes like this. start on the F. So this time we play the two Fs here, same as the beginning last time, so number one and number four. But this time we go one, two, three on the right side here, so and then we play that bit. Which is the bit that repeats itself over and over and over again. Okay, so number two C going to B and we go to A so da -da -da, da -da -da. left right left left right down okay so we have okay then we go 
to the E's. So it's, this, instead of doing them together, this time it's so thumb, then finger. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and four. One, two, three, four. So there we go. So it's two and three. Then again, yeah, two, three, four, okay. So. so this time we do the D's, but instead of doing both on the same side, we do this one. So number three here, and then number four here. Thumb first. Just before I show you the last part, I'm gonna start from the top so you make sure you've got the whole thing. So Okay, so the last bit is exactly the same as the first bit. So it's Okay, so so far we have from the top. As you get more comfortable playing that, you can try and stop. Stop. Every time you do that, da, 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 you stop the right note. questions just uh, drop me a comment or or send me a message and I'll answer it for you thanks for watching